Okay. Welcome back to Elvis Fans Matter. And we're going to start off with a few questions and get right down into it, I tell you. All oh. right. Yes, she is a question lady. I gotta say about my earrings first. Danielle, my question lady. Uh, talk about your earrings. Yeah. Okay. I don't mind. I'll let you. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki and Teresa. Yep, those are those are good. Nikki Adams and, and Teresa, Teresa Harris. Harris up in North Carolina. All right. If you um, didn't send me no earrings. <laughs> It hurts feelings, too. It is a nose ring. Yeah. I got one of them, and she just keeps it out when I'm with filming. <laughs> oh. Um, well, your see, shoulder you next have, instead of your knee. Um, a question about what type of uh, perfume and fragrance that you and Priscilla wore back, back in, in the day. day. Shit kebabs. <laughs> Gucci from Gucci. <laughs> no, no. no, no. That's horrible. No. No. It's, uh, back in the day, the only one that I can remember that we liked together, that was White Shoulders. And then shortly after, I started to wear Estee Lauder Youth Do. And... I still wear Estee Lauder Youth Do and all other kinds that I love all kind of perfume. So that so I don't know what Priscilla wore after that. That's what was perfume? Perfume <laughs> that Papa, Papa went, went looking for what and he called it enema. Yes. <laughs> He was going to get me some perfume for Christmas. I don't know. I Y'all could have left this out. You know it, that. It was called. But I can't have it because I'm a little slow. It was um, called Intimate. Intimate. And he asked for Enema. And I'm thinking, and he said, I don't know what made me say that. I just embarrassed me to death after I said it. And that woman started laughing. And I said, I, it's a good thing you didn't give me any Enema because I, I wouldn't have worn it. And I would have killed you if it smelled like it. Enema. She said, I couldn't do that for you, sir. <laughs> intimate. Okay. Intimate. Not enema. Yes. Okay. Intimate. I'm not even going to try to. <laughs> no. just, just having a moment. All right. Um, were Billy and Joe at Elvis's last concert in 1977? Most definitely. Uh, I thought it was there. <laughs> You were there. I was. I think I was there. That might have been the day you were buying Anima that was perfume. Him, yeah. Okay. All right. Did you notice then if he seemed to not feel well, or did he put on a show just like he always had and then some? Well, he always put on the show, but you know, always was a sellout. Could, as best he could. Not saying you know that he felt the greatest or uh, the show was better than another show but Elvis gave everything he had to every, every show. show every show and I mean, we didn't and that you know that's just the way he was yeah I mean, you he know was. that was that was his life and his business and he loved it as far as his shows he was a perfectionist yeah you know he just but to look back um we talked about it he didn't seem tired or or like he didn't feel good or anything to well, us at person to us, yeah, but no. then to look at the <coughs> video me. afterwards we could we recognize i guess because we that, were around him we didn't see what yeah the average everybody else everybody else average nobody's average i could see that he, the everyday you know, people that weren't yeah, that, yeah, that weren't with, that all weren't with us you know uh, right so no, well and, i could see that he was but after tired you know, you know but uh yeah okay um all right this is kind of a spicy one but like i say i always ask and it's always your opinion hotter than chili pepper so. it is <laughs> yes um, Other than a two dollar. Do you? I didn't know what you were going to say. <laughs> do you think that Elvis and Priscilla really waited until marriage to sleep together? Fifth. <laughs> Same here. Uh, I don't know. That's a question I can't answer because I was, uh, you know, I was. 
allowed in this bedroom, but not during times like that. Right, right. So, you know, I can't answer that. Right. Uh, and, and only Elvis could, and he never said and right. wouldn't say because he had too much respect for women. Right, he had never, right. He never yeah. talked about things like that. Anything like that. No, and that's, no that's but you know, respectable uh, no one thinks that we know about him and, and um, um, everybody just assumes that every per, every girl that he went with for any length of time or or took in his bedroom that it was a sexual thing. I have my doubts that anything went on with about half of them. Right. Um, I mean, he just was not, you know, I mean, he was, I don't know how to put it, do you? He well, just, let me put it this way now, and no doubt in my mind, he, he was, was very sexually sexy. active, right. yes. no, well, I, but also he, you know. But every time he was with somebody, it wasn't, no. wasn't no. that situation. No, it wasn't yeah. just for that. Right. He liked somebody with a little bit of brain and that could think yeah. and carry on a conversation. Well, he had a good time, good conversations. Right. I mean, he was it. not it was just a that. sexaholic. You know, he right. he was... Man, I was. <laughs> <laughs> but just one. Let me cover yeah. myself. Yeah. <laughs> Covered myself in. <laughs> I shouldn't open my mouth. <laughs> I always two, stick my two, foot in. Like it. you used to say, two in one family. You yeah. Know, Elvis. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, what happened to all of the flowers that might that were sent to Graceland for like Elvis's birthday or things like that when flowers were sent up or different gifts? A lot of times, most of that stuff was donated to a charity. Okay. You know, hospitals, hospitals, hospitals yeah. and things like, like that. The stuff animal, like the stuffed animals and stuff, maybe yeah. two children. Yeah, yeah. Sure. he donated a lot. Uh, um, he kept, you know, some around for a while. Not that he didn't love them and preach no, them. No, but I mean... But, you know, I mean, you couldn't. You, you know, can't imagine. Flowers, I, know, you uh, I know that reminds me. One time when he was in the hospital and we were with him, he had just... We weren't in the, we weren't sick, or he wasn't either. We were just there uh, for a reason. Moral support. Moral support. And he was not really sick. It was really to try to get out of. Now you don't know that. He told me. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Joe. <laughs> it was kind of to get out of something else that he was supposed to be doing, and he so he went. You know, I mean. Anyway, he's human. He he had a lot of flowers sent and. He, when he went home, he had them sent to the patients on that floor. Okay. At people that, you know, didn't have family and stuff right. like that, which, you know, he always thought about stuff like right. that. He was very um, thoughtful. Right. With the little things, you know, the, the yeah, little things. Yeah, just little thoughts like that. Yeah. I've never seen anything like it until I looked at all the pictures and then we were up at the cemetery and what Paul described in our video, the all the how that place was covered, covered like it flowers, was in yeah. flowers they said that that was the most flowers ever in history sold in one single day okay. and i mean and it was it was like the flowers were just stacked on top of each other at the mausoleum mm -hmm. and some were laid along the road i mean it was just you would have never thought in, no, that there were that many the flowers picture. in the world, and it it just. Um, do you know? Because on one of our last videos in the past couple of weeks, last three or four weeks, we did um, about the Medal of Freedom, and that no one was there, and I believe um, mm -hmm. Jack Satan was the one that I mm -hmm, believe yeah. was the one that received it. <clears throat> do you? Do you know if anybody from the family was asked to do it and they they just refused to do it or I'm sure that the they were probably contacted Oh yeah, you Jack know, so would have would have contact told, yeah, know, he right. would have told them. I mean that's what I'm saying. And, uh, you don't personally know though if that if that's what somebody said. No, well, that's sure always the, that's you know. always been a thorn in my soul. Mine too, a disgrace. Uh, you know that one of the families yeah. did not yeah. accept that. Uh, I don't know if they're Democrat or Republican. To me, right. that makes it no matter. difference. No, ma no matter. It was a fact that the President of the United States was giving him, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. a yeah. level of freedom. Yeah. Right. And um, nobody, nobody. You know, and I, while, while you're talking about that, 
a lot of people say, why do you, why are you and Billy ever at Graceland? Why does Graceland not? I don't, this is just my opinion, but I don't think that Jack um, Soden cares for Bi Billy very much after the job you had up there, you know, and you didn't agree and uh, with a lot of the stuff and, you know, and I always thought that he talked with Priscilla about that too because we we don't hear we never heard from Priscilla or anything like that but I just think that uh, that'll never happen mm -hmm. I even saw where I don't I could be mistaken but um, I thought I saw where even Shirley Dew was invited to be in some of the things going mm -hmm. on at Graceland mm -hmm. this year I don't know if it no. is or if it's not but um, I mean, we don't care. No, you know, no. we that, get to see. I mean, she the was fans. around all this. She, she yeah. got a lot of stories. No, I'm not saying know. it because of Shirley. I'm just saying that they have never invited you. No, and that was a there. question that we've had: is have you been invited no. to anything at Graceland no. for Elvis Week or Elvis Birthday Week in January? And did y'all just decide not to go? No, but, we've never. No, I answered it online, and then it, it is a part. You know, in one of the questions yeah. here. They have not been invited. Ever, never um, been invited. And no, they were person. not asked to receive the Medal of Freedom. Had they been asked, he would have. They would oh, have I would have, yes. yeah, yes. but it was not. Uh, we there not was asked. too many in front of me. It yeah. should have been. That should know, have been yeah. asked. And, and so, but you don't know personally who was asked, who was no, no, if somebody don't. turned it down. No. I mean, I'm, I just think it's very disgraceful. Yeah, that it would have been nice that family somebody. Members, I, I thought Lisa should have been the one not too, to accept but, yeah. it because Priscilla was not his wife. And right. really, she had no connection other than being ex wife. But I just find it strange that Lisa did not. Uh, Accept it on Lisa, his behalf, or, or Riley, Riley, or Ben, or, you know, or Ben, any one of those mm -hmm. kids, uh, you know. But have, I think it would have been a, quite an honor, you know, mm -hmm. for, for one of them. But that's neither here nor there. Right. I'm speaking, of, and I and I meant to answer this the other day, and I said, "Well, I'll just save it for video." Somebody asked me if, uh, because my last name is Rowe, and that's my married name. Uh, somebody asked me if I was, if I knew if I was any relation to a Debbie Rowe, who was at one time married to Michael Jackson, who was at one time married to Lisa. As far as I know, no. Uh, most of my husband's family's from uh, Mississippi, Tennessee area, uh, so I'm not aware it is spelled the same way pronounced the same way and if so i, I just don't know it but no as far as i know I, they were no relation to debbie yeah so, yeah <laughs> <laughs> um let's see we'll get a few more on this one and then we will do move a few on. more on the next one yep <laughs> do a few here and a few there how many houses did elvis own besides graceland at you, the you, time of his death or you mean through the years yeah, that's what I was fixing to say. Um, you know, overall, how about overall? How about throughout? Well, let's see. He owned... Uh, Once he became famous. One, two, three... Go. Four, <laughs> five. Five, okay. I would say it would be... Uh, get well house... Ottoman Drive, Graceland, uh, the one in California, Montevale, Montevale. and uh, Chino Canyon, one in Palm Springs. Okay. And of course, the ranch, if you want to count that, it okay. should be six. Yeah, but, most know, of I, the others he leased. Yeah. Well, even then he leased, so like Rock a Place was that leased. Yeah, that was okay. Okay. yeah. Rock a Place, Frugia Way, okay. Bellagio. Bellagio Road, those okay. were leased. All those but they were, were, just leased. Leased. were they leased just for when he was working out there? Uh, well, he no. kept them all year. He kept them, you know, the whole time. Okay, yeah. Yeah. but he just didn't ever, he, he didn't own those. Yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right, um... It has been said publicly that Uncle Vester disliked Ginger. Do you know? Did he Vester ever give a reason? Did, did is that something that you? Not to knew? me, he didn't. But uh, I had heard the same thing. In fact, you know that uh, uh, several people didn't like her. You know, but right. But that's everybody, of, you know, to their own, uh, you know, opinion. But uh, whether they like somebody or not, you know, I don't know. 
Was I, it I, was I, it I, knowledge I, that Vester did not? Probably uh, within his family. Well, I don't but know. I, don't think uh, that. I I never. Uh, I don't. I just don't know. I never right. heard him. We never. I, say I mean, he never just came out and said, no. "Y'all, I no. was okay." No. Yeah, just said that. Now, avoiding the question, I just really don't know. Right. Know right. Well, no. I mean, if you knew, you would say. I, I mean, just, we heard afterwards. Like after the fact. Yeah, after the fact that. But like during the not. time that. But then, then some of the guys, you know, yeah. didn't, and uh, you know. My guess, I, and I guess their question was, did did Vester just like sit down and ever just say in front of y'all, I don't like her, and here's why. No. Well, I, unless it, you know, it was several in the group that liked her, and some several you didn't. Know, that didn't. They you just know, had I mean, their that's, reasons. That's just, uh, yeah. That's just human nature, you know. People right. like who they like different, you know, you different, know, different ones, ones of them, you know. but uh, as far as you know Uncle Vester, I have no idea you right know, that, sure. nobody ever treated her bad though because that you know that just wouldn't have gone oh, uh, no, with no, Elvis no, he no, wouldn't have uh, you know he wouldn't have done that I I I liked her she it was just that there was such an age different and interest the different. only yeah. dispute you know, that me and Ginger have is a fact the, about the marriage. About the marriage, yeah. that's the only. And she outside knows that, I what like he's... Ginger. You know, yeah. I like yeah. her. You know, she uh, she was quiet. She was real looked, quiet. A little bit different than Linda. some of the other right. women. That, you know, but that was her way. Yeah. Uh, right. You know, but uh, beautiful well, girl. Like beautiful. Nan, like Nanny yeah. said a minute ago, it was a big age difference. Yeah, yeah but, especially between Elvis and Ginger, and even even y'all and Ginger still, there there was an age difference, and di like I said, different interests. She well, was the, still in the young, yeah, kind of the thing about get together it is, party stages. Is I we were closer to her age, but we had been used to doing Elvis's right. stuff, and we loved it. Right. So, and Billy, you know, he always Billy was eight years younger than Elvis, but. We were just tuned to what he did, and right. and that's basically all we did. Right. You know, just I'll tell you a little story real quick. Uh, I mean, we had a conversation, me and all this, uh, about you know about Ginger, and uh, uh, and she wasn't around all the time. You know, she didn't come up every day. Right. Don't mean that she was. Neglecting Elvis, I I don't know that. Only, she had a family. Her her you know her family. Only uh, he asked me. He said, you know, he said, what, what, you know, what do you think? What do you think? And then I said, well, you know, I like Ginger. He said, well, uh, why do you think she don't want to come around and uh, all the time? You know, to stay with me all the time. I said, well, I don't know Elvis. I said, you know, as a you know, age difference in you, and uh, he said, uh, well, what do you think I could do to, you know, to change it? I said, well, remember, Elvis, we've done just about everything you can imagine. Right. Uh, and then some. I said, but she hasn't. Mm -hmm. She's a young girl, and like used to, we'd go different places and do different things. We'd go to, like, the fairgrounds right. and... Then and, and she really, you know, she kind of wants to be seen with you, right. and and you know, uh, like all the others. And uh, he said, you know, he said you got a point there. He said that that's good. He said I, he said I, I need to take that in consideration. Right. And I got it out. <laughs> and anyway, uh, it wasn't you know wasn't very long after that he rented the uh, Liberty Land, you yeah. know, and, okay. and and and. and Tried to you know, went to her house and stuff mm -hmm. and tried to you know to uh, include her include her and be with her and you know and uh, be seen out with her right. as much as he could you know and uh, but uh, he I, went like to I her say, grandfather's I, funeral yeah yeah and things like that he um, I got you he tried to not be just <laughs> about him you know and um, uh you know it's a uh, Uh, a thing, you know, that like I say, that it was the age difference that he had to. You know, I mean, he, you know, he did think of me. He thought, you know, they wanted to be happy just to, you know, to stay at Graceland with him, gotcha. and, you know, and uh, you know, he just uh, at that time, 
Elvis was, you know, when he come in off a tour and all that, you know, he just rested. laid back and rested in his, uh, you know, in his upstairs area. Right. And at least my night come down, you know, for uh, a day or two, you know, okay. or sometimes it could be possibly longer, you know. Right. Than, I but anyway, you. that's that story. Gotcha. No, you ain't got me yet, but I'll get you if you keep messing <laughs> Oh, around. you know what I want to <laughs> say, too? Um, this is the one. Tom Leonard. <laughs> oh, this is the picture that I was talking about to get you to enhance. 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 Um, if and, Daniel, hey, Daniel hey, may post hey, it. I can post it This to was you. given. And, and if you do, Tom, I didn't have red hair. My the hair was, light. was uh, it's the light brown. Lighting, light, light, it's light the light. Brown, yeah. It's the light. But so, I love know, the picture. You, it's on the Lisa Marie. Mm -hmm. Christine yeah. David, that is Elwood uh, Pilot. Elwood, Elwood, Elwood David. David's grand granddaughter, yeah. uh, sent it to me. And, and after thank she, you, Christine, for After she that. watched yes. some of our videos, and we had one where they and talked I just, about Elwood. I just Elwood, loved your uh, grandfather. Yes, Elwood was, was a great friend of ours. And, we, and he he fit in with our group, he believe did. it or not. And he fit in perfect. I mean, he, <laughs> we'd go, when Elvis would be asleep and all, which was you know, most of the time during the day, and uh, we we actually went to uh, Sardis Lake, yeah. and he went skiing with us. And he I'm sure thinking, did. my golly, you know, he's an older man. He <laughs> skis like it, and, but I mean, he just fit in. Elwood he was, was great, costly, you know, uh, carrying on like with a joke or something, you <laughs> yeah. know, like looking for. We was coming into Vegas, and he was saying, he said, Ron, he said, do you see anything at Any all? Signs <laughs> and and. Jim, do you see anything? He said, I, man, he said, I don't know where we're going. He said, I don't see nothing. I, I don't know and where we are. Of course, you know, they fly by the instruments <laughs> and not look it out. And, and everybody else was kind of looking around. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was funny. But he was a he was a character. I loved him. I, I remember really when we were at the And light. I like Ron. I like yeah. Ron, too. And don't misunderstand. Jim, I never got to go, after, I mean, not to get to know it. I as never well. got to know him as well, let me put it that way. But I liked him. Elwood too. was a card, though. He, I remember being at the lake, and he he was uh, so happy that he could go to the bread store and get a senior discount. <laughs> <laughs> he had, it had been his birthday, and he, and he was going, I get senior discounts. <laughs> He was he was just uh, loved him to death. Yeah, but uh, and in for any kind of joke. Oh and yeah, for gosh. anything. And if if we brought somebody up front, you know, new or anything, you know, uh, while they the were plane. on the plane, we had to you know take them up front, and show them the cockpit, you know, and that's when he would get. Boy, I mean, he'd get into it, you know. He said. Uh, I think Joseph H. Then you asked him if he wasn't a little. I mean, how El do you Elvis, reach the pedal? Elvis introduced us to to him. He says, "This is my new the pilot, the new pilot of the Lisa Marie, Lisa Marie Elwood David." And I, I said, "He's kind of short, isn't he?" Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> he and Elwood like Billy, joined right in. Yeah, Elwood said, said well, "That's okay." He said, "You know, I've got blocks on these all big the wooden blocks." He, he said, said I I, "That I have." <laughs> He said, I ain't reaching reach the steering wheel in the pedals. They put a pillow behind me, and I sit on one, and I, I you know, he said, don't, don't worry. Hurry, I'll get you there. But he, he was a he was He was a, a character. Man. He really was. Well, at the time of this video, uh, this will be on Sunday the 12th. That's Mother's Day. So happy, happy Mother's, Mother's Day, Day to everybody. All. Yeah. yeah. Happy Mother's Day, all you mothers. <laughs> <laughs> And all you fathers too. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess with that, don't forget to get your wife something. I've made that mistake. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> I guess with that one, we'll wrap this one up and uh, be back again next week with more questions yep. and answers. And okay. Let's say what we always say. All the matter. matter.
Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.